Hi, my name is Jason, and thanks for joining us this week on Technique of the Week. Uh, really appreciate all you guys watching. Today we're going to be showing you, um, when you're using color hardener for highlights, a good way to, to, to blend it in. So I've already put down a base color of this buckskin color hardener, and now I'm using a uh, saddle brown. That's the, uh, the reddish color that you see on here. I've seen too many times with stamped concrete, I've seen it look like a, uh, almost like a murder scene where people are murdered because <laughs> where it looks like there's just splots of, of like, you know, blood covered on the, you know, on the concrete because it doesn't get blended in very good. So a good way to, to get rid of that and to make it all blend together a little bit better is to, once you throw the highlight color, instead of just floating it right away, also throw another pass of the base color and try to hit the areas that you, that you kind of uh, missed with the red color. So it kind of helps transition the colors a little bit better and make it look more uh, of a natural type of look. The other way you can do this is also to just float it in different directions. That also uh, helps with this scenario. So when you're doing these decorative uh, highlights in a, in a slab, um, I really like the way this makes it look. You know, the finished product looks awesome because uh, you know, the, not all rocks are the same color. So when we do our stamped concrete, you know, I think it makes it look a lot more realistic if there's a couple, uh, you know, highlight colors in there. And this kind of helps blend it when you, when it's all done, you'll be able to see kind of how, how it all blends together, especially uh, with the release agent that kind of helps, you know, tie it all in together. So that's our technique of the week. I really appreciate everybody that watches these, these videos and hopefully this, this helps you um, in your jobs. Uh, have a good week. We'll see you later.